Since the epidemic peaked in January 2021, we have seen large reductions in COVID-19 cases, hospitalizations, and deaths. And these trends are a testament to the success of our vaccination program and the tireless effort of professionals from across health, business, and government sectors who have come together to respond. On the other hand, our progress across the country is not uniform. Vaccine coverage varies by state and by county. Communities where people remain unvaccinated are most vulnerable and most likely to experience increasing case counts. As of last week, nearly 50% of vaccine eligible population in this country is now fully vaccinated, 160 million people. And still nearly two thirds of counties in the United States have vaccine coverage less than 40%. In areas where vaccine coverage is low, cases and hospitalizations are starting to climb again. Over the last week, we have averaged 239 deaths per day, an increase of nearly 48% over the prior week. Each death is tragic and even more heartbreaking when we know that the majority of these deaths could be prevented with a simple, safe, available vaccine. Areas with limited vaccine coverage are allowing for the emergence and rapid spread of the highly transmissible Delta variant. CDC has released estimates of variants across the country and predicted the Delta variant now represents 83% of sequenced cases. This is a dramatic increase from, from, up from 50% the week of July 3rd. In some parts of the country, the percentage is even higher, particularly in areas of low vaccination rates. To date, our data indicates that vaccines are available to neutralize the circulating variants in the United States and provide protection against severe disease, hospitalization, and death. The message from CDC remains clear. The best way to prevent the spread of COVID-19 variants is to prevent the spread of disease, and vaccination is the most powerful tool we have. We must continue to expand vaccine coverage by building trust and confidence in COVID-19 vaccines. And this is particularly important in communities of color, rural communities, and other population groups at risk. CDC is engaging trusted community leaders to reinforce messages about the safety, efficacy, and importance of vaccination. CDC remains committed to ensuring all of our work advances health equity. Thanks to supplemental resources, CDC has provided additional support to health departments to address health disparities and improve health equity among historically underserved populations at elevated risk. This includes racial and ethnic minority groups and people living in rural areas. We are training and integrating community health workers into care teams, collaborating with partner organizations to improve vaccine access, and building vaccine confidence among medically underserved communities and disproportionately affected populations. As the director of the CDC, it is my priority to get our children back to school for safe, in-person learning. Earlier this month, CDC released updated guidance to reflect the latest science on COVID-19 and the widespread availability of safe and effective vaccines for those ages 12 and over. We continue to recommend that schools implement layered prevention strategies to protect those who are not fully vaccinated and encourage vaccination for those who are eligible. Masks continue to be a critical part of these layered prevention strategies. Working together, school administrators and public health workers can carefully consider community transmission rates, local vaccine coverage, and occurrence of outbreaks when deciding what strategies are needed to help prevent the spread of COVID-19 and safeguard in-person education. In summary, the overwhelming majority of deaths from COVID-19 are now occurring in unvaccinated people. Vaccines are widely available across the country, and this suffering and loss is simply and entirely preventable, nearly. For our entire nation to heal and move forward, we must do all our part to get our country vaccinated.